to open up Premiere Pro, click the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Type in Premiere Pro and click enter. This should open up the app. Go to Create, New Project, and click on it. Another box will appear in the name section, name it your name and your school's name, and hit OK. In the upper left hand of your corner, go to File, New, Sequence. Make sure it says DVNTSC Widescreen 32KHK and hit OK. To import a clip or pictures, go to File, Import, select Desktop, find your clip, and click Import. The clip should appear in the lower left hand box under Project. Drag your clip to the Sequent box and you click Change Sequence Settings. To preview the clip, click on your sequence and press the spacebar. Between the project and the sequence box, there should be a toolbar with a razor tool. Select it in order to cut your clip. Click on the time of your clip where you want to cut it. This should separate it into two parts. To delete the selected clip, go to the back arrow, select your clip, and hit the delete button. For a title, go to title, new title, default still. A box will appear, give your title a name and hit OK. Click in the middle of the screen to add a text box and type the title into the text box. Use a style panel near the bottom of the box to edit your title. Once you're done, exit the box. Your title will appear in the project box. Select the title and drag it to where you would like it. To add effects, go to Windows, Effects, and on the bottom left-hand box, there will be a, a list of effects. Click the Video Transition arrow to display a list of transition folders. Choose the transition you would like to add and click on the arrow. The actual transitions will appear. Choose one that suits your project the best and drag it to the sequence. Transitions can be added to the beginning or end of any picture or clip. Transitions can also be added to titles. To add audio, go to File, Import, select Desktop, find your audio, and click Import. It should appear in the project box. Click on it and drag it over to your sequence box. To export, go to File, Export Media. Change the name of your sequence to your name and your school's name. Make sure that the file is saved on your desktop and then hit save. Make sure the source range is sequence in and out and then click export.